This is a universal socket. I actually bought this about four or five years ago with the intention of keeping it in the house so that I could use it for quick jobs around the house. Unfortunately, I tried it on one job. It didn't actually work and it got put away and it's been in the garage ever since. This particular socket is made by Richmond and as you can see, it is patented. There are other makes available such as Gator Grip and I'm not entirely sure if they are better or not but I'm just going to review this one in this video. The socket is actually a 3.8 drive and the intention was to keep this in the office and then I could use it around the house. That would save me coming out to the garage to get this socket set or going into the van to get one of my other socket sets. To look at it, you may think that that will replace a deep socket and it actually won't. It will only replace some of the smaller sockets and the maximum size that this will go up to is 19 millimeter. The pins on these types of sockets do not retract all the way in. They only go in about 10 or 11 millimeters, especially on this particular model. So that basically renders this useless in a lot of applications. There are some instances where this will work and I suppose it's useful if you have limited space, such as on a motorbike, but it's not something that I would use on a daily basis. And I have to say that in five years, I've never actually found a use for this one. So we're now going to test this out in a few situations and you can decide for yourself whether or not you think one of these is useful. Basically, if you have any of the bolts showing through the nut, you have absolutely no chance of undoing it. This is just a standard shallow 19mm socket. And you can see that we can put that on there. And we can use that to undo the nut, absolutely no problem at all. We didn't even need to use a deep socket for that. So I'll just tighten that back up. I'll now try the universal socket. And as you can see, we've got absolutely no chance because we can't actually reach the nut itself. We're only actually touching the stud part, which is sticking out. So in that kind of application, this socket is absolutely useless. This time we're going to use the ratchet and a 13mm socket. I'm just going to tighten this dome nut up. So that is now pretty tight and there's no damage at all to the nut yet. So I'll now try the universal socket and these are quite difficult to use because you do need to press down on it at the same time. It hasn't done the nut, but it has caused quite a bit of damage to it. So that is something to be aware of when you are using one of these sockets. In one of the manufacturer's promotional videos, I've actually seen a setup similar to this, where they have several different fasteners in a row. All the holes are pre-drilled and they use the universal socket to drive them all in. And you do have to apply quite a lot of downwards force to engage the pins. And unfortunately, that one seems to have killed it. Unfortunately, I've got quite a few of the pins stuck now. We'll try just giving that a spray, see if we can get the stuck pins out. I'll just see if I can actually get all of the pins, or oh, I can actually pull the full assembly bit out. So I've now got them all back. And I'm going to reinsert that into the socket to see if we can continue. So 
So I'll now crack on with some of the smaller ones. Well, it's not doing that one right well. Perhaps they are a bit too small. We'll then try the vine eye at the end. It did work on the vine eye, although it has removed a little bit of the plating from it. So if you're driving thousands of vine eyes in every day, I suppose this would be a useful tool. I'm just going to start by removing the wheel trims. I'm now using a 3 8 to half inch adapter and the breaker bar. Because of these spring loaded pins in the socket, it is difficult keeping it on the bolt. It does actually take quite a lot of force to hold the socket onto the bolt. And you can see that it is finally undoing the wheel bolt, but it is very difficult holding the socket on there. And we have actually managed to remove the bolt, but if you take a look at it, you can actually see that it is starting to get chewed up on the end there. Obviously to tighten this bolt back up I'm going to use the correct size socket which is 17mm. I'm now just going to try this on a few random bolts in the van. To start off I'm going to try this one at the side of the battery tray here. And you can see that it's absolutely useless, there's no chance at all of getting it on that bolt. If you lift up the bonnet there's not many bolts that we can undo using this socket but there's a couple here at the front which it will work on but that's about it. A lot of the other bolts that are further down and the nuts cannot be undone with this socket. You may have one of these sockets and you may think that it's absolutely fantastic and the best thing that you've ever bought however I'm not that impressed with it as you can see it doesn't work in a lot of situations and when it does work it doesn't do a fantastic job. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.